What's up, fam? It's your boy Kirk, and we are back with another StreamYard video. Today, I've got five live stream production tips for StreamYard, and we're gonna highlight a new tool, the giveaway tool that they just released in beta. So without any further ado, let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent and I teach small businesses, entrepreneurs, and faith-based entities how to simplify live video mechanics so they can shine a floodlight on their brand. And in this video, we're going to be talking about five StreamYard live stream produ production tips uh, for your live stream. And we're going to be showcasing the new giveaway tool uh, that StreamYard has been using in their town hall for the last, I don't know, a couple of months. I finally got my hands on it and I'm ready to show it to you right now. So the first tip, tip number one is to click in each overlay and background before going live. Once you get into the studio, like you are now, like, like I am now, you want to go over here to brand and everything that you are going to use for your show, every overlay, every back background, every video that you're going to use for your show, click them so that they're queued up and ready to go. This is a weird one. I know it's like, what? What are you talking about? Let me show you what I mean. So here's one of the the things that I used last week for, for our StreamYard live stream. When I click it, you see that it kind of flashes on screen. Uh, I'm going to go to this other flyer. You see how that kind of, it, it, it goes down and comes back up. But watch when I click back. It's a smoother transition. Every overlay that you click into, it it's like, StreamYard cues it up. It's like it's ready now. And so you want to do that before you go live. So I go here, I click on every single one of these that I know I may use just to be sure that they're ready to go when I'm ready to go live. And I do that for my videos as well. I do that for my backgrounds as well. Just want to make sure that all of them are ready to go. So that when I go live and I want to click between them, it's smoother. It doesn't flash to uh, a black screen or whatever is behind it for the overlays. It's a smoother process, a smoother transition. So that's why I do that. That's tip number one. Tip number two. Tip number two is to use a flyer or a video for your scene changes using a flyer or a video for your scene change. So you have two, two overlays. You got, this is, what my production might look like. Um, if for, I'm, if I'm changing guests, I've got somebody that's coming off screen, somebody else coming on screen. What I can do is I put up this flyer, remove one guest, add that guest. And if I need to, I'll even move them around while that flyer is up and then bring it back down. Of course, this is much you know, better if you have a little video clip, but I would practice this process because it takes some getting used to. It takes it takes some some, some finessing. You want to make sure that you, the video clip is not too long, but it's not too short for you to be able to get what you want done um, during that scene change, if you will. So that's tip number two: using a flyer or a video for a scene change. Using a flyer or a video for a scene change. That's tip number two. For tip number three, we came back out of the studio and here we are on the main screen. You'll notice that both of these, you know, broadcast rooms are record only. You see it says here record only. Now you can just click right here where it says edit and you can change that to be able to go live. One of the things that I, I'm saying, reason why I'm sharing this and it may be, you know, something that you already know, they can't all be winners, but I wanted to give this tip because I get this question a lot where folks are like, I wanna schedule out my stuff I want to create studios and have a link to send to guests. Um, but when I create it, it's already on YouTube or it's already on Facebook or it's already on LinkedIn as an event. And I don't want it. I don't want it as an event yet, but I do want the studio available so that I can send that to my guests. What I do is I schedule these as record only. Then I come in and I click edit maybe a couple days before or when I, whenever I want to quote unquote share the event on social media, that's the time where I'll come in and select my destinations, put in the, put in the description and the, the thumbnail 
the flyer, whatever it is that I'm going to put in there. And that's when I'll schedule it. So that's my my tip number three for you is to schedule your events way well ahead of time. Right. You can schedule them a month out. If you've got somebody who's already scheduled and booked to be on your show, you can schedule them two months out and then you can create that event in your in your StreamYard account as a record only. And then just set yourself a reminder and be a calendar reminder or something to go in and edit that as you see fit. Now we're back in StreamYard and we're ready for tip number four. So tip number four is being able to change your video positions to match your overlays. Uh, somebody said to me the other day, you know, hey, I, I created the overlays in Canva the way that you showed us, but when I bring the person on screen, sometimes they're not in the right place. And so I ended up not using the overlay. One of the features that you have um, from StreamYard is the ability to be able to move your videos around, being able to swap your videos. Um, one of the things that I do, and I can't really show that to you right now because it, it's, uh, it's a default uh, scene, but one of the things I do, let me just edit it. I will put the names in order in the overlay name. So here I would, it would be Kirk and next it would be guest. So that's how I name my overlays in StreamYard. And then when I see it, I'm like, okay, it's, the Kirk is on the left and the guest is on the right. And so that allows me to know, okay, cool. So I've got, I've got them in that order. If they're not in that order, when I'm doing my scene change and I add that person in, then I'll make that switch and then add that back. And the way you'd come out of this scene change is you'd click on the overlay. So you click this overlay to make the scene change, click this overlay to come out of the, the scene change. And in that way, your audience is not seeing those changes um, right in front of them. The giveaway tool is something that StreamYard has been using in their town hall meetings to give away prizes and stuff like that, choosing people from the audience. You would go to giveaway, sorry, StreamYard.com slash giveaway, StreamYard.com slash giveaway, and it logs you into your account. This is what's so great about this is it logs you into your account, and then from there, you can come in and, and um, so select what text you want your audience to type in the chat. And this is the text that will be searched and will be selected from your audience. So I'm putting HIW 3K because how it all works is celebrating 3000 subscribers on the channel. Woo uh, so I'm putting HIW 3K. I'm going to select the broadcast. Of course, I need to refresh this screen so that it knows that this broadcast is available. You see that now. So put in HIEW 3K and I would just click on start collecting comments. And so you'll see this screen that says HIEW 3K entries zero draw and back. And so this is what the screen looks like. You would then come back to your StreamYard uh, broadcast, click on the share, click video sh uh, screen share. And, and you would then go through the process of sharing that Chrome tab into your StreamYard uh, broadcast. And so you'll see that is at the bottom now. I can click to add it to the screen and you'll see that there. And yeah, it, 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 uh, it's ready to go, honestly. But either way, I'm gonna show you what this looks like in action right now. So here we are in the live show this past Friday and I'm ready to click the draw button. I have 14 entries and you can see that going there and it goes like that for a little while. It gets a little slower. Of course, I didn't have that many people to draw from, but you're getting a chance to see this in action live. And um, Egu Wangpa was the person that won in that giveaway on Friday. And it, that's essentially how it goes and how it looks. Very simple to use, very intuitive. It is baked in, literally baked into StreamYard. So this is a great feature and a great addition. Kudos to the StreamYard team. A couple of things I want to say about the giveaway tool real quick before we go. It is actually publicly available as of today. Um, Sunday, it is publicly available. April 25th, it is publicly available uh, for all accounts. You can access it by going to streamyard.com slash giveaway. So it has comment access through Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, all those places that StreamYard has access to it. It will be able to pull, pull those comments in.
So keep that in mind. Remember to share your screen and you do that the normal way. And, and, and of course, most of you will be using Google Chrome. So you, you can actually just share the tab, which is which even cleaner, uh, an, an even cleaner look. Um, it does work in Facebook groups, but you will need uh, your audience will need to give permission for that to work. So keep that in mind as well. One of the things I really like, and um, I might just put up a screenshot of, of 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 that video that I played here. One of the things I really like is that it does match the brand colors of your show. So whatever your brand color is, the the giveaway tool matches that color. So you'll see when I show that screen that the giveaway tool matched the purple that I use for uh, my shows for how it all works. And so whatever brand color you choose or whatever client you're working with and you have their brand already identified and, and, and set up in, in, the, in the studio, it will use those brand colors. And I think that's really cool. And the other thing that you want to be mindful of is that you can win your own draw, right? You can win your own giveaway if you put it in the chat. So make sure for your mods who are out there that they're mindful not to actually put that hashtag in the chat um, so that you, they don't actually win. So there it is. Those are uh, my tips. I gave you four tips and the fifth one was around the giveaway tool. I gave you a lot of different context that we hope will be f useful for you. But yeah, click in e every overlay and background and play each video before going live. Um, use flyer, use a flyer or an overlay, but a full screen flyer or a video as your scene change. That allows you to kind of make, do some of the changing and some you know, shifting people around behind the scenes, if you will, and then schedule your posts from record to stream. And then, you know, you can change your videos in the system to match the overlay. But yeah, this giveaway tool is great. The thing that I really want you to walk away with is that this is an engagement gold mine. And so what happened is right after I gave away the bead bracelet, um, those comments did not stop that level of engagement. I think, you know, People have a tendency to, you know, resist commenting at first, but then once they start commenting, it's like the floodgates are open, right? And so this tool is an engagement goldmine. Um, I'm hoping that you guys can really implement it in a way that's meaningful for your live streams. And again, it is available to everyone. Um, some people were wondering, is it going to be available to all the different tiers? I believe that it is. I have not seen anything that indicates that it is not available for all the different tiers, all the different subscription plans. So if you find out it, it is different than that, please let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to uh, put that in my newsletter and to let people know. But as of right now, I did not find anything or haven't heard anything about it being restricted to like a professional plan or anything like that. Listen, it's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher. We have hit our milestone of 3000 subscribers. We're setting our sights on that 5K that we've been talking about for quite a while. We hope that we gave you some value in this video today. StreamYard is such a great platform and we hope that you have already subscribed. But if you haven't, and this is one of your first times hanging out with us here at How It All Works, we would ask that you take a moment right now and just subscribe. Smash that like button and make sure you ring the bell so that you know when we go live because we go live three times a week, Mondays for convos and collabs, Wednesdays for the midweek huddle, and Friday night for the virtual cafe. And yeah, we have videos every weekend, a new video like this one every weekend uh, for you to consume that are sharing live stream best, best practices, tips, tricks, and basically some how to's, right? We want to give you whatever you need to be able to level up. So my hope is that somewhere in the video today, somewhere while I was showing you some of these tips while we showed off this new tool, somewhere while I was kind of wrapping things up even, you were able to peek behind the veil a little bit. You were able to put those puzzle pieces together and have that aha light bulb moment. Um, and you were able to basically figure out how it all works. It's our pleasure to host you, our pleasure to provide this content, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.